well the handle to put the head came in today in Norland. You know, I had shown this before and I got the right handle and the guy also sells the covers for him, the sheath. It's a beaver tooth handle company. Uh, it appears to be a very good handle though. The only downside is you've got to plan ahead because this guy is not fast. It, it took a long time, pretty near a month to get here. But, you know, at least I got it now. And the handle fit very well. But, you know, they're an odd size and, and he's the only one I knew of that made them. Uh, the only other handle I was considering was this boy's axe handle that fit down there but that's a lot longer than I wanted well I could have pulled the head back a ways and cut some off you know I could have shortened it up some but it would still be very long and actually on this long handle the balance didn't feel right you know, I played around with it a little bit. I decided to, to get the actual handle that he made for him. And like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, normally when you think of ha hatchet, you're thinking about something like this, which I actually have to do some work on. She's got a few shingle nails in her. This is a little Stanley. You know, they're handy. They have their place. But there's sometimes you, you want a little more oomph there and a little more reach. Uh, particularly, you know, I, I always have to carry one on the dog sled because the dog sled, you're standing on the runners, you know, on the upper part of the runners, and in certain conditions, you start building up ice on there, and, and pretty soon you get this, you know, ice about two inches deep that you can't stand on. You just need something to just wrap that and break it off of there. And that's where I like to carry a, a, a short handle, but a hatchet is too short. You know, I need something with a little more length to it, a little more reach, otherwise you have to bend over too far. So I figured this might be a good kind of all-purpose thing. Now the funny thing, you know, this head is a little over two pounds. But it has the same feel as what the Husqvarna Carpenter's hatchet has, but it, this is a little heavier. But that's a good tool. You know, I, I, in fact, a lot of people kind of substitute these for the purpose that these are intended for. You know, and I, I guess it would work, but they really are, they're fairly heavy, and then they've got that, that flat blade, which is great for carpentry stuff. It, it works really well for that. In fact, that's what I'm doing with this large chunk of oak here. I've got a whole pile of them here. I'm splitting them up. To make shingles out of them because this stuff is green and then I actually I use this because it's got that wide flat blade and I drive it with this big ironwood maul and I can just split them but I tried to use this one for carpentry stuff like it was intended for and it works very well for that though you know I see people using them for other stuff but this Norland you know it's an oddball it's in between you know, I always consider what they call a boy's axe to be a three-quarter axe. Which is light, but still, it's like the, the Husqvarna small forest axe. I really think of that as a three-quarter axe. Well, that puts this, this Norland in that odd, it's like a half axe. hats and a quarter axe <laughs> but you know fairly fairly heavy head fairly wide sweep it's got a nice curve to it uh, the only thing you know okay this like I said this handle fit very well which is important on a Hudson Bay style though I think they call this one a tomahawk axe I think Norland called it that but you have a very a short eye in there you know, so you got to really get that baby fit or it'll, it'll start working loose. But I like it. You know, it's, it's a good, it'll be an easy one to carry. 
and you'll never run into that that small you know that the axe is a little too small because you get a little hatchet like even that that small forest axe you know sometimes they're just a little too light a little too small uh, it, it actually it's kind of long for carrying you know on a backpack or something you know you tie that thing on there it's a little see i always carry it in i've got that wooden pack basket that sits in front of me on the dog sled and I like to carry an axe in there. Well, I don't want a long axe or it's in the way. So you need something short, but longer than a hatchet. So this looks like a, a pretty good deal. Though, I don't know how common they are anymore. I think the, the uh, bushwhack crowd kind of caught on to them. For a long time, they were trying to use these, you know, but like I say, they're really not designed for that. You know, but they, they itch to use them. But I think now they have started to pick up on these. But it's a nice size. And I'm happy with that. And the handle was uh, like 12 bucks or something. This is probably about the same. But it's made to fit this odd size. And fit very well. You know, because like I say, it's, it's kind of an in-between deal. But, you know, sometimes in-between is what you need. So for my purposes, I think that'll work very well. You know, I have to think of something else to do with this. You know, I think this this head on here is fairly good sized. Well, she's a pitiful thing, old though. It's kind of a nice slim handle. But I'm gonna have to redo that with something. Maybe cut down this boys or something. But these, uh, you know, if a guy runs across them, you can get one for a reasonable price. Uh, that guy does have the handles for him. So, like I say, you got to be patient. It was Beaver Tooth Handle Company. Yeah, it says right on the sheath. Very well made sheath too. You know, pretty substantial. And a good solid handle. Like I say, it's got the same feel as what the Husqvarna would. You know, I've always thought about taking one of these carpenter's axes and actually putting a longer handle on one. You know, if I could find one with a broken handle someplace, because I think the splitting maul or splitting axe handle, I think the eye would be the same size. Put a longer handle on that, kind of change the blade a little bit. I think you'd have a fine little axe. Though they're narrow, you know, but they'd cut good. But excellent carpenter's axe. You know, it's just that people try to use them for other things. But for the other things, I think this baby looks good. I'm pleased with it. One more project out of the way. But that'll be handy on the dog sled. That's just the right size.